Hello all, and welcome to my Bucket UAV Guide. We're almost three weeks into release now, and most of us have had a chance to find our feet. However, I've noticed not all Bucket players have the basics of the UAV down, so hopefully this can be of some help. The UAV is Bucket's number three ability, and can be used to track the monster, if you can find it, and get a lock on it. This shows the monster's location on the screen for all hunters, so yeah, it's pretty useful. However, Using it has drawbacks, and can end up doing more harm than good, if not used effectively. Know where you're looking. When using your UAV, make sure you know roughly where you're going. Don't launch it without knowing what direction the monster is in, or without a trail of footprints to follow. If you have no idea where it is, you're unlikely to even find the monster. Furthermore, the monster could be hiding near you, just waiting for your teammates to leave you alone, and we all know how that's going to end. Positioning. Look for the high ground. By doing this, you're giving yourself a better vantage point to search from, giving you a better chance of seeing the creature in the distance, seeing its footprints, or just avoiding potential obstacles. Also, wildlife can be a pain in the ass. It will interrupt your UAV and put it on cooldown if you're damaged while searching, potentially losing you a tag. Often, moving to a ledge or a peak will put you out of reach of most wildlife keeping your shiny metal ass out of harm's way and letting you tag that monster. Self-defense. If you can, put one or two sentry turrets out before using your UAV. Try to do this as you're moving to your vantage point to save time. These turrets will defend you, or at least distract that pesky wildlife that's learned how to climb or has just strolled into your vicinity. On top of this, sentry turrets will act as an audio warning for monsters sneaking up on you and will even interrupt their sneak attack, allowing you to cloak and escape. Maneuvering The UAV is faster than your hunter, as it doesn't rely on a jetpack for speed, and isn't restrained by gravity. However, ascending, descending, and turning can be quite sluggish at times. To counter this, always try to position yourself as soon as you see an obstacle coming. Is the monster climbing that cliff over there? Try to get as much height as possible while moving towards it. Is the monster heading into a cave? Start descending before you get there. Bumping into obstacles will waste your limited battery time and could possibly lose you a tag. Not to mention, bouncing off everything is bloody annoying. Camera Angle The UAV requires you to keep the camera on the monster for a short time to secure the tag. It can see through trees and to a limited extent, walls and rocks. Personally, I've found it easiest to keep a lock on the monster from a mid to long range at about a 45 degree angle above the monster's line of sight. This way, you have time to react to any changes in direction, and the monster is less likely to see you, meaning you're less likely to be pounded into dust. Also, of course, try to keep a steady camera on the monster at all times. Communication Talk to your team. It's as simple as that. Let them know you're using your UAV, so they know your body will be vulnerable. Call out any useful information, like if the monster's heading into a cave or if it's near a landmark to give them a early heads up. You don't have to wait for the tag to help your team find the monster. Don't get carried away. Remember to cancel your UAV as soon as you have a tag on the monster to start the cooldown sooner. Furthermore, it's easy to fall into the trap of using it too much and getting separated from your team. Your team will catch up to the monster with your help, but you'll be 300 meters away and you won't be able to make it to the fight until it's too late. Try to head off the monster and catch up to your team before using another UAV, so that when the fight starts, you can get in there and get your turrets down. Finding the monster is no good if it just wipes your team 1 versus 3 while you run to catch up. Well, I hope this video helped. Feel free to leave any more advice or tips in the comments section below. And lastly, thanks for watching.